We're gonna try to pay for our beach vacation this year with this $20 bill. It may be a long shot, but we're gonna give it a try. Uh. So you might be wondering how we're gonna turn this guy into a big wad of cash. Well, we're online resellers, so basically this just means that we go to thrift stores and yard sales. We find things that we can flip online for a profit. So we've written a little vacation budget for ourselves and we've broken it down into five separate categories. We're going with her parents, so we're gonna split the cost of an Airbnb to stay in for the week. So we're gonna budget around $500 for the Airbnb. And of course we're gonna need food while we're there. And let's face it, we're not going to want to eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches the whole time we're there. Mm, jelly. So we're going to try to set aside $80 per day for eating out while we're on the trip. We're also going to want to have some fun on this trip. So we want to have like $400 for fun and souvenir. And we literally haven't been to the beach in years. So we're going to need to buy some new supplies. We're going to need to get things like towels and bathing suits. And we want to get a little wagon for our baby to ride in. So we're going to try to come up with an extra $300 for supplies that we need. And we all know that trips literally never go as planned. So we're going to set aside an extra $200 just in case something happens. So folks, that comes out to $1,880. And we're actually just going to go ahead and round that up. So we have to come up with around $2,000 before we go on our beach vacation in September. So let's go get to work. All right, guys, we're going to go in this Goodwill real quick. We're going to see if we can find something for our challenge. Remember, we only have $20 to spend, so let's make it happen. The shoe section can be really profitable. It is for us, but they tend not to sell very quickly. So I don't know if we're going to pick up any of these or not. Weebok. <laughs> these are called Weebok. Weebok. Here's some leggings. Ooh. Look at this. Some kind of battery. You know how good them are. This is a great brand. These are good. This is a good example of something that we wouldn't want to pick up just because there's tons listed. They're listed between $12 and $15 and this one is only two. We could buy a bunch of these for only $2, but only one has sold in the last 90 days, so. Kate Spade? Yeah. yeah. This is good. Casey found this Kate Spade phone case right here. When I scanned the barcode, there was none listed at all, but three have sold. So that's a really good sign, something that we should pick up because it's probably gonna sell fast. Mm 
we're having issues with our phone signal as well so it looks like on top of only having $20 to spend we're gonna have to buy blind and not look much up so I don't know how this is gonna go just found this pair of North Face shorts right here they are the flight series the hydro light waterproof breathable this should be pretty good Okay, I think we got what we're gonna get. We're just taking a chance on him. I know these are good. This is the Cascade CPVR. Should be like 20, 40 bucks. I already showed you this phone case. We got the North Face shorts. I'm gonna go with this radio, take a chance on it. Okay guys, so we bought a total of five things and we spent $17.68 after tax which means we actually had $2.32 to spare. So we tried to get things that would sell really, really quickly so that we could turn our money as fast as possible. And when I go to list it later, I'm probably gonna undercut the market just slightly so that we can get the fastest sales as we can. All right, guys, the first thing we picked up was this lacrosse helmet. Now, lacrosse is a crazy little game we play in America where we beat each other savagely with sticks. This Cascade CPVR helmet should go for around $40 on eBay. I found this Ford truck radio. I love selling these, and I normally don't even test them. I just sell them as untested, and people still buy them that way. This particular one should go for at least $50. We showed you this Kate Spade phone case in the store and we're going to put it on there for about 20 to 25 dollars we had super horrible service in that store and we really had to just take a chance on a couple of things and this was one of those for me this is a little movie created by dreamworks i've actually never even seen this but the movie is called home and a lot of the merchandise from this movie is worth a pretty good bit of money we bought this guy for a dollar and it looks like he should go for around 20. north face is always a brand that sells quickly for us. These are their flight series shorts and they should go for about $25. So guys, if we sell all of that, we can turn that $20 into $165. All right guys, so I'm going to go try to list that stuff right now so that we can get some more capital to work with. Hopefully we'll have some more money to go shopping with in a few days once these sell. Hopefully it won't take long, but we'll let you know as soon as anything sells. All right guys, it's been about a week since I listed those five items for our challenge. And we've had a couple of sales. So the first thing to sell was that little plushie that I took a gamble on. I listed him pretty low to try to get a quick sale. And someone sent me an offer of $12. So I hesitantly counter offered at $13.50. They took it. So our eBay fees on that guy came out to $2.02. And, .02. and he was super light, so shipping was really inexpensive. That came out to $3.87. So that means our total profit on this guy was $6.53. But remember, we get back our original cost of goods that we put into this. So now at this point, we have a total of $7.61 to work with. But we also sold that Ford radio. And that was a huge score for us this early in the challenge because we sold it for full asking price of $65. So that means our eBay fees on this guy was $7.95. But I also ran a promotion on this listing just to get some more eyeballs on it. So I had to pay an extra $3.64 for that. And shipping this thing ended up costing $8.72, which is not that bad. So including our $2.24 original buy cost, we got back a total of $44.96 on this guy. So adding both of the totals from the plushie and the radio to that $2.32 that we didn't even spend at the first Goodwill, now we have a total of $54.62 to work with. We almost tripled our money with that $20 bill that we started with, with just two sales. We're gonna actually go out in this video one more time to another Goodwill, just to see if we can find a couple more things before we end it. All right, so let's go. All right, guys, same as last time. We're going to go in here and see if we can find some things that's going to sell quickly. Even though this time we have $54, we still got to be conservative for our money. We don't want to get stuck with stagnant inventory that's not going to move very quickly. All right, so let's go in here and see what we can find.
It's a drop 10. Yeah, uh, dash, yeah, dash 18. Yeah. Yes. Yes, this is a $150 bag. It's got some scratches on it and stuff, but I think someone will still buy it. Four dollars. All right, guys, I only picked up one item in there, but it's a really good item. It's got a few scratches on it, a few dings on it, but no cracks. Only picked it up for like $4, uh, but it looks like online it's going for around 150 There's only two listed of them, but there's been a bunch sold, and this time of year, that's the reason we picked it up for our challenge. So we still have around $52 to spend, so let's go see what else we can find. Alright guys, in that store all we ended up was picking up this Maui figurine. We think we should be able to get around $20 for him. We ended up spending like $7.68 today on this trip. So minus that off of the $56 some odd dollars that we had to spend. We definitely didn't get much this time. But hey, there's always tomorrow. We can spend it on good quality product and that's what we really want to do. We're going to be putting out another video in this series soon where we maybe will go to some yard sales and spend our money that way. Maybe we'll have a little bit better luck. So click over here if you want to watch some of the videos that we've already done. And do not forget to subscribe. You don't want to miss the next video in this series. And where we hopefully make it to the beach eventually. But we have a lot of other cool stuff planned for this channel too. Though you don't want to miss it. Till we see you guys again. Stay peachy.